Hi, Rory Singh here from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. Today I'm just going to cover a story um, happened that happened not too long ago um, in a place not too far away from um, where I live. Uh, I actually live in Ontario, Canada. Anyways, uh, today we're talking about a guy in Stratford apparently lost $350,000 in a Bitcoin scam. Okay, and this is happening a lot lately. Um, Stratford, Ontario is the home of uh, Canadian uh, icon singer Justin Bieber, as he's got that picture saying, sorry. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about. A lot of these Bitcoin and crypto and even Forex scams popping up uh, lately. And a lot of people are ripping themselves off by giving donations to anonymous people. Here's another one here I covered, what, five days ago. 70-year-old Canadian man from Alberta, Canada lost $2 million, guys, in another Bitcoin scheme. Anyways, this is the stuff we're going to cover today. If this is your first time on this channel, find the big red button, subscribe, and even click on the bell notification icon. That way, every single time I go live with new helpful content information updates and even reviews you'll be one of the very first people to get access to this freshly created information so subscribe and even click on that bell notification icon um, if you are a person who has been looking for a legitimate way to make money online there's a powerful affiliate marketing program set up legal and legit and it's very lucrative okay powerful opportunity underneath this video first link in the description you can go down there and click on it and uh, take action there if that is something that you're looking for okay after you watch this video of course so short story it could be long but I'll try and make it short Stratford Ontario Stratford is a place in Ontario Canada it's it's very well known for Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, uh, the singer, came out with that song, Sorry. And uh, that's where he was, uh, where he grew up, and that's where his family still lives. Okay, Stratford, Ontario, they have a lot of um, film festivals over there. Okay, in Stratford. It has, this content has nothing to do with Justin Bieber. It's just that um, I'm kind of like giving you an idea of where it happened okay and this kind of thing is happening it's a very common thing that's happening throughout the world but especially in canada and the u.s where people have been you know people are scared to even click on links in their email even if they opt into legitimate stuff uh it, it's mind-boggling i don't uh, it's a lot of craziness we're seeing here happening uh, but people are even like in Canada over here people are like oh there's a scam don't well, be careful with your emails and uh, a lot of scams from India and Nigeria but the same people who are you know and even like Canada revenue agency scams and IRS scams the people who are warning other people about these scams that you know you could get in your email from some random stranger um, are the same people who are taking not even money that they own or have liquid money um, they are borrowing money and even going to family and friends and raising uh, a, 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 a huge pool of funds and hoping that they're going to strike it rich and that everyone will achieve more like a team effort sort of thing people are bringing their family and friends to these deals guys to serve them up as lambs to the slaughter uh, in the in the factory farming industry it's pretty brutal uh, chickens are being raised uh, for human consumption this ties right into your success and your uh, inquiry in these investigating investing um, in these type of investing opportunities okay uh, I'm just trying to make a point here but the factory farming industry is huge in Canada, US, Australia, UK. Um, factory farming industry, you know, bringing up chickens, raising them, pigs, cows, um, sheep, 
well lambs because it's usually babies that they are slaughtering um, for industry for economy for profit quick turnover and you know chickens lambs cows they're even looking at the farmers for as uh, people they look up to because they see that the farmers are feeding them and anyone giving you food from the time that you are birthed into the into this world um, in these poor innocent animals eyes this very same person that's going to haul them off to the slaughterhouse so that they can earn profit um, are who the animals are looking up to as their go-to guy uh, to protect them so family and friends are being lured into these schemes because they're trusting some individual in their family and they're pulling together their money that they don't even have a lot of them are borrowing it from credit cards taking out loans uh, getting loans against their mortgages from equity and then what are they doing they're funding anonymous owners platforms right they're telling people hey be careful about clicking on links and emails because there's a lot of scams going around but the same people are you know going to family and friends and saying hey this is a legitimate way i found the way i think this is going to work you guys got to get into this i know that and this is dealing with network marketing revolving around network marketing uh, mlm but this is not mlm it's just using a network marketing compensation plan where network marketers can make referral commissions by convincing other people to invest their hard-earned money and they in turn earn like five to eight percent commissions okay but this is basically what's happening in a nutshell so it happened um, to an Alberta man not that long ago lost two million and you think someone who actually had two million dollars would have common sense to not you know give it donated to some random site online and you know if these people that I, I review these kind of things every single day all kinds of reviews here because people keep asking me to do reviews on stuff I've never heard of right there was another one called Barax and Wiseling and all of the network marketers kept telling me um, that they were legitimate programs they turned out to be huge scams uh, created by people using fake identities and then using heavy hitter uh, people in the network marketing industry um, as recruiters okay and over and over and over people keep losing way more than they are making and a lot of experts on YouTube will make a video and they're gonna say stuff like don't invest any more than you're willing to lose but anyways the scam that this person invested in is was called tethertrade.com now this is the website here apparently it's parked wow big surprise probably after they started getting investigated they put their tail between their legs and they ran but they got their domain up for sale so if authorities really want to find them they can find them but what I'm thinking the authorities don't really care too much about these schemes or they can't even handle them just like 10 20 every single day that's being launched and then every Tom Dick and Harry is bringing their family and friends into the deal right a lot of network marketers who couldn't succeed with legitimate stuff in the past are figuring well crypto and, and MLM uh, Forex systems are low-hanging fruit and we'll promote that instead because people are just gonna believe it and just go through our affiliate links and even thank us so that's pretty well what's happening um, tethertrade.com so that's just one little tiny little deal opportunity uh, that's scammed out and look at this one person saying I have over 10 years direct I don't understand that the domain was created only in 2017 unless he knew the owners December 21st 2017 and it was updated uh, in February 5th 2021 where most likely that's when most of the traffic started going into that platform and now it's April and they're gone like two months later 
bye bye and they're most likely they own other the people who own this most likely own other scams and people are investing over there okay so anyways just be leery be careful be careful that's the word i'm looking for anything that promises promising you free crypto even if you're thinking well times are changing times are getting tough and i've got to take my financial matters into my own hands don't go investing into a network marketing platform that doesn't have any products and the owners are hiding behind the scenes anonymously okay even if wow the pictures look nice and it looks like very exciting most likely you are going to lose okay i'm going to keep covering these stories as they come up and this one is just two days ago okay and it's going to happen again and again people are do we people even come to my channel subscribe um they ask me to do reviews and i do certain reviews most of them are negative nowadays because the negative greatly outweighs the positive and this is what people want they want a, a ponzi scheme that's going to work for them um they're always saying hey rory find me the legitimate one tell me about the legitimate one not the ones that don't work well the stuff that you guys want is like three to five three point five percent to five percent to eight percent to ten percent daily roi where you could just invest sit back fold your arms and get rich and that's just not going to happen the only legitimate um investments that they have are the ones open to the public through the, your bank and it's not even worth your time um lastly what i want to say here how these scams work person invested 350 grand and then they were told i'll post a link to this article that i found okay they were told that they've got to go and invest even more to get their withdrawal when the complainant tried to make a withdrawal from his investments he was allegedly told he would have to pay a deposit up front before receiving his money he also allegedly began receiving email threats demanding his personal information do you know that people are giving out their personal information the same people who are you know saying stuff like be care be careful with the nigerian and in the east indian scammers but here look at this deal uh it looks legitimate even though the owners are anonymous let's invest here crazy and then when you try to get your money out they ask you for more money and then if you don't give it to them then they're asking you for give me your personal information hmm anyways these are the things that you guys need to think about